The first Ferris wheel debuted in 1893 at the Columbian Exposition World's Fair in Chicago, Illinois. Today, we're going to take a closer look at this engineering marvel. Here we go. Welcome to Maestro Heights. Greetings, everyone. This is Gail Masinda with Maestro Heights. Remember to click that thumbs up when you see or hear something new. Ask any questions that you have in the comments below. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would subscribe to this channel so you'll know every time we add a new video. Okay, let's get started. Credit for the modern Ferris wheel goes to George Washington Gale Ferris Jr. He was born on February 14th in 1859 in Galesburg, Illinois. I assure you that to the residents of Galesburg, the birthplace of George Ferris is both a widely known fact and a source of great pride. At one time, Galesburg had its own permanent Ferris wheel as part of a delightful local attraction called Kitty Land. It was a small wheel by Ferris wheel standards, but it was great fun, a fact to which I can personally attest. As George's life unfolded, the Ferris family moved and George went to school and grew up and became a civil engineer, business owner, and a builder of bridges. Ferris was at a meeting in Chicago regarding the upcoming Columbian Exposition, which became better known as the 1893 Chicago World's Fair. The Eiffel Tower appeared at a Paris fair a few years earlier and was very, very popular. There was some serious competition to come up with something which would, as fair director Daniel Burnham famously put it, to out Eiffel, Eiffel. The result of the engineering brilliance and perseverance of George Ferris is what we still call a Ferris wheel. The original Ferris wheel wasn't ready for the opening day of the fair, but soon it became the greatest attraction and the iconic symbol of the entire Chicago fair. Many souvenirs use the Ferris wheel as a logo for the fair, like this one. There's a lot more to learn about the life of George Ferris and his Ferris wheel, and I'll put some important links in the description box below. After the fair, the wheel was moved to another location in Chicago. After that, it was moved to St. Louis for the Louisiana Purchase Exposition, what we usually call the 1904 World's Fair. Sadly, after the St. Louis Fair, the original Ferris wheel was destroyed. There are some fine photographs of the Ferris wheel, but we know of only one movie which shows it in action. This was taken by the Lumiere brothers in 1896 when the Ferris wheel was installed in its second Chicago location. This is the only known clip of the Ferris wheel in motion, remember. As you watch this, consider its immense size. It took about 20 minutes to make one complete revolution. This was like a 25-story high building that could spin and was constructed in 1893. The stories of the original Ferris wheel and George Ferris both had very sad endings. Remember to check out those links down below. But I hope that every time you see or ride a Ferris wheel, you will remember George Ferris and his engineering marvel. Stick around for more videos. And remember, we learn from the past, but we don't live there. Be awesome today.